And no Amazonian should go out and be beating their chests and calling themselves the president of the Federal Republic of Amazonia. That mandate has not been given by Amazonians, all 8 million of us. In a representative, representative democracy, individuals don't go out and call themselves presidents. We are at war. We are not campaigning. as political parties to rule over 8 million Amazonians. This is the message also that the chiefs of defense staffs of the AMC have told me to tell you all. They don't recognize individuals who unilaterally go out, sign deals, which amount to debt of 8 million people's resources, without the consent of Amazonians. They don't recognize such leaders. They don't want pompous leaders. We can work together and show love to one another and respect. This infighting of me first, me first must not be occurring at this point in time and at this stage of our revolution. No Amazonians should go out and be beating their chests that they are the only ones who know how to fight for the people. But all of us must come together and work as one people. We have seen the divisions that have taken place even in the political faction. We hold unity matches in Washington, D.C. only for certain leaders to go back out and be behaving in a charlatan manner, pompous, as if they never, ever came to Washington, D.C. in a unity platform. So I doubt the unity should be pushed more amongst the fighters on the ground because the diaspora, especially the political factions, have shown the capacity not to be united because of self-centered interests. create confusion among the forces. Those political leaders, they also go out trying to finalize deals with the resources of all 8 million Amazonians. I don't say it's wrong, but if any Amazonian who is honest go out for the sake of all 8 million Amazonians to search for assistance from foreign entities, that program can be, be can begin first with that individual Amazonian. It doesn't matter who he may be. It may be me, it may be Cho Ayaba, it may be Sako, IP Sako, it may be Dr. Akwanga, it may be Bo Herbert, it may be um, Tapang Ivo, I don't care, whoever. You initiate the program, but when it comes to putting a pen, ink, on any paper, for the resources of all 8 million of us, it's your duty to be transparent, and it's your duty to bring on the table all the frontline leaders and all the leaders and respectable people within our community and tell them that this is what I have found. This is what can help us. 
my brothers, come with me. Let's go and sign for 8 million Amazonians. No Amazonian have the right to unilaterally go out and sign a piece of paper with individuals or foreign entities for the sake of all 8 million Amazonians. None of us have that mandate as individuals. That mandate can only come working together with all the levels and structures that the Amazonian people have come to recognize. Selling of our resources without the consent of the people of Amazonia and the consent of the structures that the Amazonian people have given mandate is theft. Fellow brothers, this is where we are today. We must understand no single Amazonian without the consent of all 8 million Amazonians has unilateral powers without the consent of our people to go out and make any type of arrangement and put the final ink on that paper without everybody sitting on that table. I can initiate it, but I don't have to be the only person to sign that piece of document. Comrade Yaba can initiate it, but he cannot be the only person to sign that document. Comrade Sako, the interim president of the IG, can initiate it. But he, the interim president, cannot be the only one to put an ink on that paper. Comrade Herbert might initiate it, but Comrade Herbert might not be the only one to put the last ink on the paper. Comrade Beniza might initiate it, but Comrade Beniza must take all his brothers and sisters along to put that ink. We are all, all in this together, as we said. One for all, all for one. That is the meaning of that. Anybody who don't respect that is not fit to be a frontline leader. Future out all these political interests coming from the diaspora that is bringing this organization and not organization among the fighting forces. In the other hand, I can certainly say the ASC has never instructed any of the ASC restoration forces to go out there and attack any other camp that doesn't belong under the brigade system of the ASC. Because the leaders of the ASC, which I am still a member, because I've been saying stuff on internet, or oh, Comrade Forger resigned from the I did not resign from the ASC. I stepped down as the spokesperson of ASC because I have many other important ways to contribute to this struggle. You might not be seeing me on the media, but it doesn't mean we all are not in solidarity and working behind the scene to bring our brothers together, to search for assistance, and to bring along all the frontline leaders when this assistance have bear fruit. I will never Well, we had a little bit of interruption there from the uh, the network. The network was giving a little problem. 